Hey everyone, I'm Xunani. Welcome to my new video. In this video, I will test out the totally hyped new bleed proof double sided marker pad from Uhuhu. And I will compare it with the mixed media pad, also from Uhuhu. I have to say, it was hard to get in Europe for a long time, but at the moment, when I'm working on this video, you are able to get it easily on the Uhuhu homepage. I just had a look on their homepage. A few facts about this marker pad. It has 60 pages, 150 GSM, and you should be able to use alcohol markers on it without any bleeding through. This made me very curious. Perhaps you watched a few other videos yet about this new sketchbook and perhaps you think I don't need to know more about it, but what I'm doing today is a full mixed media test on this new sketchbook compared to a mixed media sketchbook. Yes, I know this is a marker pad, but for me a sketchbook must work in different ways for all medias I like. I always would use alcohol markers with at least colored pencils and then everything else what makes me happy at that moment. I don't use alcohol markers because in my sketchbooks it's annoying if they bleed through and yes, that is why I'm not a pro. To be honest, I'm a noob with alcohol markers. In this video, I will also use my Ohuhu pastel set for the first time. Yeah, I know, this is a lot for one video. And when I started to record this video, I had no idea where it brings me on my way here. I even had to cancel a little art haul part, what I planned in the beginning. It was too much in the end. And what you're seeing right now is me swatching the 48 pastel colors of the Blossom set. I cut it for you so we can concentrate on our main quest. Only a few facts. These are the markers of the Honolulu series. They have a brush and a chisel nib. They have a little rolling of the table stop plastic nose thingy. I don't know how to call it. And a gray ring on the brush tip side. So they should be easy to use in our workflows. Of course, even if the swatching paper here is very thick, the ink bleeds through. This is how we all know it. Let's start with the new Ohuhu marker pad and try a few things out. The first thing I recognized is that the paper gets instant wet, like darker from the wet ink. This is a bit distracting if you want to create a nice gradient or if you try to blend two colors or if you want to see the color you are using on the paper. Blending is not easy here. In my little experience with alcohol markers, I learned that you use a color, then take a lighter one and then kind of pull the darker color out with it to get a nice gradient. But on this paper it seems to be different. I got the best gradient in using the light color first and filled the fibers of the paper completely with juiciness <laughs> and then the darker color on top. Afterwards the brighter again and pull it out. It was a crazy work to get a gradient, but I wasn't sure if I'm doing everything in the right way because of my little experience with alcohol markers. Now the same on the mixed media paper. I started with the darker blue and pulled the paint in a gradient with the brighter color. It worked very good. Oh, I also used the blender in both sketchbooks, 
which was a fail in the bleed proof pad but worked nicely in the mixed media pad. But as we all expected, it bleeded through a lot here in the mixed media one. Now I check the back side, no bleeding through. This is what I expected, even if I worked hard and very long on a little tiny area of the paper. This is impressing, I think. Here I didn't give up. I tried other ways to make a nice gradient in the bleed proof one. And you can see here that the paper gets dark because it's wet. It's very strange. You almost can't see your colors anymore. It's not the darker blue or the darker gray. It's kind of a grayish paper, wet color. I don't know. Later I will get used to this and the paper and me will become better friends. You will see. When we come back to alcohol markers later, then I will paint in both sketchbooks a little piece of art after trying out other medias in here. But it was so much easier to blend the colors on the mixed media paper. Then in the end, I tested how much they flow in the paper that your painting won't look messy in the end. I mean, how soggy is the paper and the color spread on the paper. I hope you can understand what I mean. And here the bleed proof paper was the winner. The bleeding in the Faber stopped faster. We will see in my paintings later what benefit this is. Now let's try colored pencils. All in all, they work on both papers very good. The bleed proof paper feels a lot more smooth, but not too smooth for the pigments in the pencils. To draw with them on mixed media paper just feels more usual for me. Watercolor pencils and watercolor itself feels strange on the bleed proof because the paint and the water lays on top of the surface and doesn't suck more into the paper like it would have been impregnated. Somehow, this is a thing with all the wet medias I used on the bleed proof one. I think I can get used to it somehow, but it's strange. I think you have to test it out by yourself to decide if you like this or not. Watercolor markers work surprisingly good on here. I have to test them better on this paper, but it's a good first impression. The mixed media paper is very bad for watercolor markers. Also, the felt markers work perfect on the bleed proof one. Also good on the mixed media paper. Watercolor ink and normal ink work just fine. Just the flow is a bit different. I also tried the Neocolor 2. They felt very strange on the very smooth paper compared to the mixed media uh, paper, which has a little bit of structure. But all in all, if you get used to the smooth feeling of the new paper and if you are open for experiments, it could be possible to use all your beloved supplies on it. 
even if the supplies look a bit different as normal. At this point I had no special opinion about this new sketch pad. I also wondered why it is so much hyped. Okay, there is no, absolutely no bleeding through. This is the truth. No matter what you are using and how much liquid you are using, it got a bit wavy under more water, but this is normal for a paper which is not especially made for wet medias. But all these swatches doesn't tell us a lot if we wouldn't test the paper in using it for a little artwork. First, the bleed proof marker pad. I have to say, after a first little struggle, I enjoyed working on this paper. It was very easy and after drying, you can see brush strokes in the plain colored areas. Bleeding colors into each other is almost impossible, I think, for me. If you are a marker pro, and you already tried out this paper, please tell me how you are able to get a nice gradient on it. Please tell me. But perhaps it's not made for two color gradients. Perhaps you should have a lot of colors in the same tones to build it up in a different way. This is also okay. But I have to say, in the end, the smoothness of the colors on that paper looks so good that I think it does a very good job. I don't miss crazy gradients, all comes together nicely. And after drying, it looks so good. Now let's draw the details with colored pencils. I'm using the ones from Artex here. They are very soft and they lay down very nice on top of the alcohol marker layer. First, I was very skeptical with my swatches and when I tried so hard to get a nice gradient, but after actually using it, in creating a piece of art, I was pleased about the outcome. Now I was so curious how the mixed media paper would feel to me in comparison. But first, a little test. This sketchbook promises that you can use both sides of the paper. So I layered a few colors on the back side. It was very choosy after three layers of ink. The paper wasn't wavy at all in the end and it worked just perfect. If you like alcohol markers and you are looking for a sketchbook in which you can use also the back sides, both sides of the paper, then this could be the perfect sketchbook for you. Now the mixed media sketch pad. I have to say I struggled a lot with it after working on the bleed proof one. The paper is much more sogging the ink and I failed so much with the markers on it. Yes, the colors flow nicely into each other and blending is easier. But after using the bleed proof pad, this felt kind of wrong working on it. It also was fun, but the working process is a lot different between both sketch pads. I'm not sure which one made me more happy in the end. I think I could use them both in my regular workflow. 
if I would become obsessed with alcohol markers. I'm not yet, but if I would, <laughs> I would prefer the new bleedproof marker pad. Even if there are a few things which I don't like so much, like the really darker colors, if the paper is still wet and the gradient thing, but everything else feels made for alcohol markers. I think I would have more fun with the mixed media pad right now because the paper feels more comfy for me somehow. Everything works how I expect it. But then there is the problem again with the bleeding through. Yes, it's true. I'm kind of wrecked in this case. Both sketchbooks are really good. They both have their benefits. So it's hard to recommend one of them more than the other to you or to pick a winner. The bleed proof pad lives up to its promise. And it's awesome to have a paper here, which has all this alcohol marker benefits you need if you like alcohol markers. The mixed media pad has a paper I'm more used to, so it feels more like home working with it. But this has nothing to do with an objective opinion. <laughs> I hope all of my tests and my experience was helpful for you to decide if you need to have a bleed-proofed sketchbook. This is the thing. We always want to try out the new supplies, which are hyped on the market, but if we need them is the question. Please tell me if you have already tried this bleed-proofed sketch pad and your opinion about it. I would love to read all of your experiences. Then this was it. Thank you all so much for watching and a big thank you to my patrons. Please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your support. Then have an awesome week, my friends. See you next time. Yours, Xunani.